It's happening. It's finally happening, Mark, and let's look. The dithering by Sinn Féin over the past 30 days has cost the taxpayer £2.5 million because it has cost the taxpayer £85,000 for every day that they dithered. And it's not just that. It's, we have to realise that this scandal didn't just come on Sinn Féin's horizon when the BBC ran their Spotlight programme. They knew about it in February. It's cost £20 million under this executive. We have been consistently calling the three parties for a public inquiry. And finally, at significant cost to the taxpayer, Sinn Féin have done the right thing. Now, that is to be welcomed. But we need to be very clear. There can be no political interference in this. So the appointee must be on the recommendation of the Lord Chief Justice. And the, pub, the, report, and must be pub, and the report must be published um, upon its immediate completion. So we're very clear that these and things Martin have happened. said that will happen. Yes, he's finally said that it's happened and certainly right. we welcome it. But it would have been much, much better if Sinn Féin had have came to this position much earlier on because it wouldn't have done the damage that it has to public right. confidence and it certainly wouldn't have done the damage that it has to the public purse. All right. So publication of the list significant next week? Yes, um, I think it's very important that we get to the heart of who has benefited from this scheme. What has been missing is openness and transparency. But we need to also remember that there are a number of organisations and businesses that have of this scheme in the right way. There were those that abused it. What we must not allow to happen is for companies and businesses who have done no wrong because they legitimately availed of a scheme to be used as scapegoats and to well, the fact that the people... I mean, where's there any evidence that that would be the case? Well, I just think it's something that we have to be concerned about, that there isn't a, a mudslinging campaign or people are not accused of doing things wrongly that they happen because right at the heart of this there are people within the political system who have clearly done things wrong. Yeah. And but, we but you can't have it both ways, Nicola Mann. You end. can't on the one hand say you want to protect these businesses that have quite legitimately taken out uh, uh, an investment through the RHI scheme and at the same time complain about losing £85,000 a day and £20 million a year. I mean, it's got to be one or the other. No, you, you know, about, you, you got yes, to pick. It's not about the protection of firms. It's about finding out exactly who benefited but finding out exactly who abused the scheme and who were in positions of authority, what they knew, when they knew it, and what they either did or did not do to try to stop it. 